Welcome to today's tutorial on using external storage devices. Whether you need more space for your files or need to transfer data between different devices, external storage devices like USB drives, external hard drives, and SD cards are incredibly useful tools. So if I open File Explorer, here if I go to this PC, you can see we have our internal storage drive. And again, you can see we have our recovery E drive. This is actually a name I gave my USB drive. So we have different kinds of USB drive. So external storage devices are physical devices you can plug into your computer or other devices to store and transfer data. So some of the common types which include, for example, we have the USB flash drive, which is actually small portable, portable devices with limited storage capacity, ideal for transferring files. We also have the external hard drive, which is actually more larger devices that offer more storage for backup or larger file transfer. Then we have the SD cards. The SD cards, actually, the user, which are normally used in cameras or your phone, they are very, very small, but also compatible with laptops and computers. So right now, you can see I've inserted a USB device into my laptop, and you can see we have the recovery E. For example, I can decide to go to, just right click, and then go to properties. Here you can see I can only change this name. For example, I can just give this any name and just call this Kelvin. If I wish, and you can see the name is going to change to Kelvin. And for example, if I double click, you can see we have different files in this external drive. But at the same time, I can decide to say, well, I want to actually copy a document to this file, which will be very easy. Let me open File Explorer again. And I'll go to my document and I'm going to actually just make this a little bit smaller. So here you can see we have a file, for example, I can decide to say, well, I want to copy this file here. I'm going to just copy it here. And you can see we have a drive. And at the same time, we can actually manipulate this drive. So let me look, just right click my computer my start menu and if I go to let me just go to disk management direct here if I open disk management you can see we have the possibilities to manage our internal disk and our external disk so let me try to maximize this and again you can see for example here we have the e-drive which I just changed and that's my cd room so from the e-drive we can actually also for example I can go to properties here you can see we can also change the name, but I can also change the drive later. For example, I can change the drive later from, I can click change, and then we can actually change this, for example, to the letter K, and then it's going to actually warn me that some programs that rely on the drive letters may not run correctly. I'm going to say yes, and now you can see this is actually going to change to a different letter. You can see it just changed there. So let's just wait for this. We can actually try to... Um, let me see, I think we can now just refresh this. Let me try to refresh the action and then refresh. You can see that it just changed to K. But we also have the opportunity to actually format this disk. It's, don't forget that we have some, let me go back again to our file. Here we have, you can see we have some files here in this folder, in this disk. So if I decide to say this is the active partition, all that on the partition will be lost. Let me just cancel that and make sure I'm formatting the right one. Okay, I'm going to say yes. Well, I'm going to use a FAT32. Let me just click OK. I'm going to say OK for that. You can see it's trying to format that disk. And everything here is going to be formatted. Let's go back again to our drive. Just go back again to my C. And then you can see our K drive is now empty. And also, let me show you something. If I go right click again to my device and I go to device manager. So here in device manager, you can see we have all the different hardware devices. But if I go to my universal serial bus, which is my USB 
control serial bus controller you can see we have some generic usb device we have usb master storage device and this is actually my external disk i connected to my device you can see we have the usb root usb 3.0 we can actually click on properties to check you can see it's a usb device you can check the drivers details you can even check the event of this drivers power management allow the computer to turn off this device to save power which is actually recommended i can now click cancel so from here you can actually manage and see if you're having issues when you try to connect your usb device is not connecting you can always go to your device manager to verify if for example you are seeing a yellow mark or probably the external usb drive need to be updated or the drivers need to be downloaded from the provider of that usb and then you can actually install it on your device and then you should be able to manage that device so i'm just going to i'm just going to close that for now and again i would like you to remember the following you can see we can actually manage our disk from disk management here we can ma manage the c drive and also we can manage uh this removable disk and you can see it's about um 30 gigabytes let me just close that for now and also from here you can see we can this we can also manage uh drive from here and you can see right now we don't have any files in it because we would just format formatted our drive